Assalamu alaikum and hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. And today I would like to discuss about periodic inventory system using weighted average method. So what is meant by weighted average method? The goods available for sale have the same or average cost per unit. Now we look at the question. David Company Limited had prepared an inventory record for the month of July 2020. So, from the question, you are required to prepare periodic inventory system using weighted average method. So we have, first we have to calculate the ending inventory unit. So this is the step of computing weighted average method. The first one, calculate ending inventory units. And the second one, ending inventory cost. The third one, we have to calculate cost of goods sold. And the last one, gross profit. So we have to calculate ending inventory unit. So the formula is the beginning unit plus purchase 80, 100, plus 80, plus 70, and less 90, plus 50 for sales, you will get 110 units. So the answer for ending inventory units is 110 units. The second one, you have to calculate ending inventory cost. So we have to calculate when you want to calculate ending inventory cost, you must calculate average cost per unit under weighted average method. So this is the formula cost of goods available for sales divided by units of goods available for sale. So first step. When you want to calculate ending inventory cost under weighted average method, you have to calculate cost of goods available for sale. So this one for beginning, 100 times 10. And this one is for purchase, 80 times 11 and plus 70 times 12 for purchase. So you get 1,000 plus 1,007. 120 then this one for beginning this one for purchases and you will get cost of goods available for sale is rm 2720 the second step for you want to calculate ending inventory cost you have to calculate units of good available for sale so 100 for beginning plus 80 for purchase, 80 units plus 70 for the second purchase, you will get 250 units. So what is the next step? The next step is we have to apply using the formula, average cost per unit is cost of available for sale that we have calculated just now divided by units of goods available for sale. 2,720 divided by 250 units. Then you will get average cost per unit, RM 10.88 per unit. So this is average cost per unit by using cost of goods available for sale divided by units of goods available for sale. The next step, we have to calculate ending inventory cost, RM, average cost per unit, RM 10.88 times 110 units of ending inventory, then you will get RM 1196.80 or 0.80 cent. So the answer for ending inventory cost is RM 1196.80. 
And now we have to calculate cost of goods sold. The formula is beginning inventory <coughs> plus purchase less ending inventory. So beginning we got 1000 we have calculated just now. 1000 plus 1720 did out with ending inventory RM 1196 80 cent. Then you will get RM 1523.20. Now we have to calculate gross profit. The formula is sales. Less cost of goods sold. So sale we have to calculate based on the question. 90 units, 50 units and given selling price. So 90 units times 20, you will get 1,800. And 50 units times 12, uh, 20, RM20, you will get 1,000. So the total sales is RM2,800. So sales are M two thousand eight hundred less cost of goods sold are M one thousand five hundred and twenty three point twenty. Then we get gross profit are M one thousand two hundred and seventy six eighty cent. So we have complete the answer for weighted average method. So the conclusion that we have to calculate the cost the cost per unit based on average cost per unit. The formula is cost of goods available for sale divided by units of goods available for sale. That's all for today. Don't forget to watch my next video and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.